Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Plague Inc. Let's start another game. Main game. Okay. So this time we're going to try another parasite. Parasitic lifestyle prevents DNA alteration from everyday infection. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that means. But we're going to pick the parasite. And we're going to go. Uh, we are going to modify the genetic code where we can here. Okay. So, Terracite uh, increases the chance of spreading the plague by land. We're going to insert that. Zero file. Uh, we'll give our plague a uh, bonus in arid climates. Let's insert that. And cost to devolve don't increase for translation uh, let's maybe change that translations don't increase but easier to cure I don't like any of this easier to cure business bonus DNA when devolving let's do that so ionized helix uh, is going to be what we're going to take so we're going to have terasite which allows our parasite to travel uh, Increases the chance of our parasite uh, spreading by land. Uh, it'll be a zero file, which will give our plague a bonus to arid climates and bonus DNA while devolving. We're going to play on normal. Um, and let's do this. Killer fleas. Well, killer fleas weren't so killer. Um... Hmm. Let's see, what should we have? What should our plague be? It's a parasite. Let's call it... Hmm. Call it malware. There we go. I, I don't have any good ideas for this one. Sorry. Um, it should start in a an arid climate. It's on land. So I'm going to start in Egypt again because that's an arid climate. It's got two ports. It's got a, a connection here to the Middle East, which also has a connection to all the rest of Europe and Asia. Uh, along with all of Africa here. Uh, like I said, two ports and an airport, so I can't think of a better place than Egypt to start this particular worm. I'm gonna go and change this to the world. Malware begins in Egypt? Of course it does. Malware is a parasite. Parasitic lifestyle prevents the DNA, uh, the player getting DNA points by infecting people. DNA bubbles are the best way to get points. Well, yeah, I, last time we didn't get very many DNA points, um, and that's what, I, what was essentially our undoing near the end there. So let's go and look into means of transmission. Um... Well, we're going to have to wait a little bit here. Or, we could give it symbiosis. And it'll be uh, more in tune with its host and making it less likely to be noticed. So, that's not too terrible. Well, it is terrible, but not terrible for us. You know, we'll wait until we get to nine DNA points here, uh, which we'll have right away. That's 14, so that's more than we need. Um, we'll give it a little bit of drug resistance right off the hop instead of that. Nope, oh, I have that pause. My apologies. Oh, okay. Person to person, each of them will grow and uh, exponentially. We control the plague. Okay. 
So does that mean we're gonna go to a new country soon? Yes. It's a mystery those London Olympics. Alright. So transmission. Let's make it. Able to survive in fresh water. Writeters demand site paywall. A group of writeters, unsatisfied with their working conditions, have put in for a motion to require readers to subscribe to a paywall. Community fully supportive. <laughs> right. Um, we are going to make it transmittable by air. I like that idea. Abilities, let's... Nine. Okay. Well, at this point... To click on any other... Oop, countries would be a fallacy. But it's spread to the Middle East, so now... Now we're talking. see if we can't do something about making it a little cold resistant. Genetic hardening, so it's harder to uh, to research. I'm gonna spread into Libya here. There we go. Malware is infecting more countries. Slowly but surely. Yep, I know that that's how you get DNA points. There we go. Thank you. now. India, Spain, the UK, I think. Yep. South Africa. about maybe giving it some more drug resistance. Oh, spread to Japan. Very nice. Getting some DNA points out of Spain. N nausea? Okay. I can handle that, I suppose. Infection of South America would be kind of nice. Give you some of that Eastern Europe stuff. Mm -hmm. 
It's not spreading as quickly as I'd like it to. I suppose I could change that, but I want to spend more points on survivability than the ability to spread. It seems to make more sense to me since we don't get that many points. Or not, maybe not as many points as we ordinarily would get. Madagascar, very nice. Malaysia, the Philippines. We're in Iceland. Finland, we're in Mexico, I think. Starting to spread around Africa, that's that's not too shabby. Siberia there, we're getting some points, although there's no real infection, I don't think. Finland. I think that's New Guinea. Command of Geography isn't the best. More infectious than the common cold. That's not too shabby. Especially since we haven't put that much work into having it be infectious. But I mean, that's, that's part of... That's part of, you know... Getting the ball rolling, right? I mean, the more people that have it, the more prone other people are to getting it because there's more exposure. One would think, anyhow. And since nobody's died yet... The only symptom is, like, nausea. I'm actually fine with that take our time and maybe win this one. Kind of slide this one under the radar. Be the parasite no one expected to take over the world. Oop, coughing. Coughing is okay. Coughing is acceptable. Africa and Western Europe are being taken over there. I'm okay with that. Middle East, India, Afghanistan, China, a little bit of Korea here, Japan, Australia. It's starting to spread. But close to half the world's people have been infected. Canada's starting to fill up here. South America it's starting to spread. Western Africa it's starting to get a little little spots here and there. Russia's hardly been affected at all though. Oh, there we go, Greenland. That's promising. Coughing should help with transmission though. So I'm sitting on all of these, um, on all of these points for when uh, either everybody is infected and I need to start putting in some symptoms to start killing people 
or um, they start trying to cure the damn thing. Because I want to have some points in reserve to be able to buy the genetic hardening and, and the genetic reshuffle and stuff like that. The DNA reshuffle, I think it's called. Peru. Oh, getting a rash. Yeah, Peru's being a holdout. Good for you, Peru. Yeah. Russia's starting to get a little bit. Sweden is starting to succumb. Oh, Peru's starting to get some dots. Uh oh. The Baltic states, Poland, Ukraine. close we just need another like around 400 million which sounds like a lot but when you've already got you know almost six and a half billion people not a, one dead yet so they've got no reason to start on the cure Ooh, Festival of Eleven Ukraine, this is gonna help. Go and, and, and kiss each other and hug each other and do all those other things that people in love do. New dry winds in arid countries, okay. That should help with transmission as well. I don't think it's gonna help very much in the places where we've already... Like, where we're kind of waiting for them to be infected. I think all the Arab countries are basically taken care of. Poland, Ukraine, the Baltic states, and Russia are, are, are not what you would generally call very arid countries. Sweating sy symptom? Yeah, that's not going to freak anybody out. Again, I can make it more cold resistant, but I think if I just give it a little bit of time, we should be good. Hundred and seventy points, very nice. Six point six billion infected. I think the population of Earth is right around six point eight billion and some change. There we go. Russia's starting to be pretty infected here. Last holdout, I think, here is, is going to be gonna be Greenland. And I think it's going to be a big jerk about it, too. Again, almost the entire Earth is infected, but not as yeah. No, I need. I know it needs to evolve to kill. I'm aware, but I want it to sneak up on everybody. I 
Not a single person dead. What's going on? We'll get over 200 points here. And now it's infecting just minimal numbers of people. Okay, well, maybe I'll. Um, Evolve that. That'll help. Fever symptom. Okay, well that's that's a thing. Oh, okay, so now now we should give it some genetic hardening. Twenty-four DNA points. Okay, we'll sh we'll also give us some symptoms here. Um, anemia, cysts, insomnia. Let's confuse the crap out of people. Paranoia, good. Seizures. Insanity. Immune suppression, total organ failure. That should be enough to pretty much kill everybody. People in Kazakhstan are extremely paranoid and refuse to cooperate fully with the global cure effort. Oh, well, mission accomplished. Central Asia starts to work on a cure. USA should stem its land borders. Okay, well, we'll fight the cure. Yep. This is killing very, very quickly. I hope not too quickly. Canada leading the global cure effort, okay. US president is taking ill. Indonesia's in anarchy. Let's go to the disease screen here. Let's make the transmission. here. Sneezing, that way people get it more quickly. There we go. Oh, 
let's go and scale this back a little bit. Yep. Took out the total organ failure. There we go. People are becoming infected at a rate that is more quick than the uh, than the mortality rate now. Which is good. Again, huh? Well, as long as Greenland keeps on doing this, I'm actually fine with that. Watch this very closely to make sure that the dead bar does not overtake the infected bar before they infect everyone. Let's go and devolve that again. leading place with uh, people who are still alive not everyone is infected there but that is probably the last place on earth Let's speed this up Iceland bombs infected cities. Wow. Okay, well, let's go. And evolve that. See if that helps. There we go. Skin lesions, which go and infect more people, which counteract <laughs> the bombing of cities. Not too worried about the cure being 25% complete. are the last few people to be non-infected in the entire world. Iceland, eh? I want to 
up the lethality too much. I'm gonna up the infectivity though. Give people diarrhea. <laughs> Some big jerk like that. Projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing infected people to projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of malware. Good! See that red bar get bigger. I want to see a volcano of vomit coming from Reykjavik. That's really disgusting. <laughs> Stop it with a total organ failure! I get it, I like it too, but... Oh no! I don't want to kill everybody just yet. the last people in the world to be infected? Yes! Okay, now you can have total organ failure. Go to town! Kill all the things. Most everyone was dead anyway. Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents, slurring productivity and drawing attention to malware. <laughs> Alright, we're down to the last around 50,000 people on Earth. Public defecation symptom combo. Diarrhea and sanity are causing the people to defecate in public and everywhere else. Everyone is increasingly focused on developing a cure. Well, unfortunately I don't think that's gonna happen. Unless something miraculous happens to the last 10,000 people on Earth. Nope, I don't think so. Well, I'll pop this bubble, but I don't really need it. Alright, and... that's it! Malware has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Parasite victory! That's one I haven't gotten yet. Anyway, if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you haven't uh, subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, that button is out there as well. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to put it in the comment section down below, uh, as well as any names that you might have for any of the potential uh, plagues that we have um, coming up. If... Um, if you want to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description. But I have been Mike, and you have been you, and this has been Plague Inc. Evolved. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.